What is going on you guys, this is Techie Chi coming at you with another unboxing and first look at the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. So it's been a year since the Surface Pro 4 came out and I want to see if it's worth it or not to still buy it. So when we first take a look at the packaging, it looks really simple and clean. On the back there's some specifications like what it includes with and the specs that you ordered. So when we open it up, it's very easy to get the items out. So the first thing that we see is the Surface Pro 4 wrapped around in plastic to of course protect it. Then we see the manual which no one reads anymore. Then we get to see the Surface Pen which is really nice that they provide it and it's not sold separately. And finally we get to see the power adapter and the wall outlet cable. So when we remove the plastic from the Pro 4, that's when the fingerprints on the screen start to begin. Taking a look at this, I really like the size of it and that it's not really thin, otherwise it would feel like I could easily break it and there's actually ports on it. So on one side you have a full USB 3.0 port, a mini display port, and a charging port. On the other side there's only a 3.5mm headset jack, but it's nice that they provide it unlike others. Then behind the kickstand there's a micro SD card slot for some extra storage. On the bottom there's these pins for the keyboard and on the top there's a power button and a volume up and down button and the Pro 4 is about 8.5mm thick so it's really portable and it provides you with all these things. So when we first boot up the Surface of course you need to set up a couple things like logging in and the pen you know some of the functions and of course signing into the Wi-Fi. Once everything is done looking at the screen the detail and the color is honestly beautiful. The screen is rocking a 12.3 inch pixel sense touchscreen display and the resolution is 2736 by 1824, 267 pixels per inch. So you are definitely running some 1440p video and it looks amazing. So the specs on this is holding a 6th generation Intel Core i7-6650U processor, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of SSD so boot up will be very fast and an Intel Iris graphics. So that is pretty specced out coming at about $1400, not including any of the accessories like the keyboard and traveling case to protect this. Now speaking of accessories, I got the black type cover with fingerprint ID and that alone is an extra $160. So it's pretty expensive but I feel like most people will need it because the Surface Pro 4 wouldn't feel like that much of a laptop. I like how the keyboard is magnetic to the Surface so connecting it is extremely easy and I also like that it has the option to make the keyboard elevate a little bit for better typing. The layout is a QWERTY and it has a full row of function keys and media controls and the activation keys are moving mechanical keys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a sound test on how loud the key presses are and you can decide if they are good or not. To me they feel pretty good, a bit mushy though, but it's very easy to know if you pressed on it or not. I also like that the keys are a bit apart from each other unlike the last generation, so accidentally pressing another key is less likely to happen now. The keyboard that I got has a matte black finish and on the other side is a nice cloth finish so it's very soft and comfortable to hold on and have a good grip on and not worry about accidentally dropping it. Now getting into the protective bag, this is a TomTalk brown pleather protective bag and it is compatible to hold the Surface Pro with the keyboard and the pen. It has a beautiful leather exterior and a soft felt interior to ensure quality and durability to protect your computer. It also has a magnetic flap to ensure that the Surface does not fall out and it even comes with a sleeve in the back for anything else like papers and a little sleeve for the pen. So it does feel like quality but it's only $20 on Amazon and I will have a link down in the description below so that you guys can go check it out. Now getting back to the Surface Pro 4, one thing that I really do like is the camera. This is providing you with a 5 megapixel front facing camera with a 1080p HD video and an 8 megapixel rear facing autofocus camera with 1080p HD video as well with stereo microphones and the quality of the camera is pretty good and I like that you can mess with the white balance, shutter speed, ISO if you want something specific and here's a quick test on how the quality of the camera and the microphone is. So this is the front facing camera, now the fact that it shoots at 1080p at 30 frames per second is actually amazing, it's perfect for Skype and business conferences. Now the audio, the microphone isn't that great compared to like an actual condenser microphone or shotgun microphone or lavalier microphone, but overall it's pretty good for when you're in a Skype conference, you're talking to your boss, to business and stuff like that. So overall the front facing camera is really nice and crispy, the fact that it can compete against the main camera it's really cool and it's perfect for Skype and small things like that.
and this is the main camera now it's not that different compared to the front facing camera the fact that it shoots at 1080p and 30 fps is the same as the front facing camera is actually pretty cool i don't know what really the purpose of the main camera would be just to take a couple nice shots because of the automatic or manual white balancing the iso the shutter speed stuff like that same thing with video it's a little bit crispier but overall it's not that different compared to the front facing camera now once again the microphone is not that bad but it's good for conferences like Skype or simple things, not like really into hardcore using a shotgun microphone or a condenser microphone or anything like that. But overall, it's really good for portability and it's really good quality for basically the main and the front facing camera. So overall, it's really not that bad. So you could do some YouTube with this camera to get started and get some pretty nice detail. Another thing that caught my interest are the speakers. I like that there's Dolby Audio to provide you with a much more rich sound and I actually hear the difference. So here's another sound test of the Dolby Audio on and off and at different volume settings. So for something that small, the speakers don't hold back and they really do pack a punch. And finally, the thing that I find interesting is the charging port and cable. I really like that the battery life is up to 9 hours of video playback and that the charging cable is actually magnetic and has an indicator light to let you know if it is charging. Something that is removed from the MacBook Pro that everyone loves is now on the Surface Pro 4, just a couple things different. So you don't have to worry about accidentally pulling the charging cable with the Surface Pro and damaging it. So there you guys have it, that is the unboxing and first look at the Surface Pro 4. A year from now, it was released and it's still pretty cool, but I will test it out and come out with a review video on it and all the links will be down in the description below so that you guys can go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram and Twitch. As always, this is TechHD, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!